Hey, what's up? It's another adventure right here at a Maximo boat ramp. I'm Captain Joe. Today we're gonna do some inshore fishing. We're gonna go catch bait at the Skyway or wherever else we can find bait. And then we're gonna shoot up the bay. Probably gonna fish around Apollo Beach and Cockroach Bay. See what we can get into. I hear there's some cobia, there's some big jacks. There's always snook and redfish around. So it's another exploration adventure. That's what we do here at Head First Fishing. It's not always a guarantee, but we go head first. Hey, and just a quick reminder, all these new videos coming at you are brought to you by St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Fishing Outfitters, and Tarpon Fishing Outfitters, as well as the entire Lee Fisher Sports family. I got a little bait ball. I don't know if you can see it down there. I got a bait ball forming here on the chum. They're coming in, they're hungry. Still real skittish, but if I can get them in the net. Oh yeah, smoking. Smoking. Oh yeah, got them. Nice. Humpback cat's nets from Lee Fisher. Get yourself one. So I pull that kind of out of the water, let some of the water drain off the net, reduce some of the weight. That's a lot of bait. Oh man. All right, so we got plenty of bait for just me fishing today. Uh, we got grunts, we got pinfish, so there's a lot we can do today with this live bait. Let's see what we can do. I mean, it's head first fishing, we go. All right, so we just showed up over here at Apollo Beach. I'm just going to get another rod set up and I'm going to start fishing. Uh, I'm thinking there's probably going to be a, a variety of fish over here. The water temperature is about 77, 78 degrees over here, which is several degrees warmer than out there in the bay. So there may be some fish taking advantage of this. All right, we're up here um, more towards the upper part of the bay. And I'm just creeping along this flat with a trolling motor stuck on a certain heading. Just going real slow. I'm just looking over the sand, looking for silhouettes, looking for any signs of big fish cruising around. I'm just making my way out here. I'm going to do a loop and then come back down around the grass edge. Should be productive. I'm hoping it's productive. I heard it's productive. It might be. There was this guy one time. It was productive for him. Boom! Look at that! That's awesome! So I'm gonna see if I can get this school of jacks fired up right next to the boat. See if we can get a couple of them in a row. Well, he's coming. Look at him go, big school of jacks. Smoke that pinfish. There's an old boxer named Jack Dempsey. And he was known for being a hard hitting fighter. Well, these Jack Creval are hard hitting fish. And I think maybe that's where the name came from. Look at that. Boom, little inshore powerhouse fish right there. That joker pulls harder than a lot of fish its size. That is an impressive inshore fish. That's a trident circle hook right there and it went right in the corner of the mouth just like it's supposed to if you wanna come see it. That's right where that hook is supposed to be. That's why you use them. Outstanding fish. Yeah, 
baby. Now we're talking, that's another big jack. Push right there, the shark. What is that, shark? What is that? There's a dolphin. Good one. Man. That ain't bad. These things hit with full force. Dolphin's right next to the boat, wait for this dude. He's gonna get it, he's gonna get it. Look at him go, look at him go. They got it figured out, man. The dolphins in Tampa Bay are real smart. Whether you're out fishing in the middle for snapper and grouper or on the flats, if they come around, that can be the end of your fishing. Um, you know, he's just trying to eat, so I try not to get too upset. It, it does get it does get really irritating if they take a fish off your line. That's that really ticks me off. But you know, they're just up here hunting. They're just living their lives, trying to get a, a bite to eat. So it's it's impressive to watch them do their thing. They come up here on the flats and pin these fish in the shallow water and um, it's it's crazy how fast they are once they get going all right so we're gonna roll on out of here these dolphins are really aggressive here on this flat they've blown out all the fish over here we're just gonna shoot down uh, gonna go investigate some uh, mango shorelines a little bit to the south and see if we can pull up some snook and some reds for you <laughs> See that? <laughs> he came right on in and zapped it. There we go. That's a decent fish, I think. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I got I got more lines in the water. Look at that. There's a nice snook. Not huge. That's a pretty typical snook there. I love it. Nice. Come here. Come here, buddy. There we go. Nice. I saw him just barely start to move the line. That's a pretty typical snook back here. They come in a lot bigger, but you're going to catch a lot of these. You come back here with a bunch of white bait. Beautiful, clean, clear water. There you go, buddy. You want to catch snook on the west central coast of Florida? Go out, get your humpback cast net, come out here to the Skyway, load up on white bait, and come into a pocketed mangrove shoreline like this um, come in on the high tide start throwing baits out and look for the telltale fish pops throw yours in there won't be long they'll be on it still on there he is that's a good fish that's a nice fish That's a good one. I'll take that. Come here. Smoke it. That's 
that's a nice one. There's a little bit better fish there. Bite's turning on right here at sunset. Here we go. That's another beautiful release. My favorite part. Watching them go. A little extra slimy this time of year. Have a little snook. guys right here for all the guides they pay the bills right here we have a lot of fun with that Like if I was just a half second quicker, I might have got that one. He, that one. he hit that hard and took off hard. That kind of caught me off guard. He didn't just, you know, pop it. He hit it and ran. Yeah, that was cool though. That was a pretty decent fish. Well, it's been another exciting day on Tampa Bay. So many great adventures have come and gone. I got more planned for the future, and all I want to do is get them on video and share them with you. Many thanks to St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Fishing Outfitters and tarpon fishing outfitters for making these videos bigger, better, and possible for you watch. I'll see you later.